Hello everyone, my name is Emily, and today I'm going to be doing a collab with Lemia Crescent. <gasps> That's right everyone, Lemia Crescent and I are friends, shock and awe. So can we please stop inserting her into that story time I did a few months ago about a big YouTuber who treated me pretty badly. But anyway, let me make this really, really abundantly clear. Lemia Crescent was not the person I was talking about. But anyway, we thought it might be a fun idea to do a line art swap, and I was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna make a series out of this. This sounds really cool. So the premise is I draw something that I think Lemia Crescent would draw and Lemia Crescent draws something that she thinks that I would draw and then we swap and we kind of surprise each other. I was really excited when I got her package but I was also really nervous because I am the absolute worst at opening envelopes. I'm just, I, I wreak havoc. I'm like afraid, I don't wanna like tear it or anything up here because I'm like perpetually afraid of Destroying anything that's inside of any package I get ever. <laughs> Neurotically open it from the top. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> the tippiest of tops. <laughs> Why am I such a nervous wreck? <laughs> and then when I opened the envelope, I thought I was going crazy at first because I could smell this like really nice perfumey smell all of a sudden. And then I was like, wait a minute. <sighs> Did this Bic spray the line art? Did you spray this? <laughs> She's precious. It smells good. My husband's gonna be like, who have you been sleeping with? And where can I get her perfume? And then I found out she left me a little, a little cute letter. Oh, there's a super little note. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> I'm so chicken. <laughs> But then I'm like, wait, what if it says something personal? I don't want to open it on camera. So I opened it later and then it like specifically said like, hi internet. And I felt like, <laughs> why would she send me a letter with like, okay, here's my social security number. Here's my driver's license number. Like, I don't know why I was afraid to open it on camera. <sighs> oh my God. That is too, oh my God, that is too funny. I saw crystals and I'm like, yep, I knew this is gonna happen. <laughs> This is so cool. This is gonna be so fun to color. I can't wait. Oh my God. This is bitchin'. Okay, yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> But anyway, I decided to draw her character Mint for her line art, but I drew Mint, who is already like a human unicorn girl hybrid, as a mermaid. So she's a mermaid unicorn girl hybrid. I think the reason I chose to turn her into a mermaid is because when I think of Lemia Crescent and her artwork, I think of things that are uplifting, I think of things that are colorful, I think of things that are slightly anime inspired. And I know that Lemia's had some, some versions of Mint before, so I thought, why not turn her into a mermaid? And I gave her this really interesting, kind of powerful staff that I imagined is glowing. We'll see what Lemia does with it. And I just titled it, Where the Hell Am I? Because I feel like the look on her face is like, <sighs> Where am I? I hate it here. But I'm really excited to see what she does with it. The line art she sent me was a portrait of a woman with a bunch of these little glass shards kind of shattering around her. And for whatever reason, my brain went straight to alien. I'm gonna make her an alien. I just instantly envisioned her with like this beautiful teal skin and this bright red pink hair. I, I, I have never drawn women with unrealistic skin colors. I have never drawn aliens. Don't ask me why I did this. It's just what came to me when I looked at the line art. It just spoke to me. So that's the direction I decided to take it. Now I pulled out a medium that I haven't used in a very long time, but I feel like I'm pretty good at, and that is colored pencils or pencil crayons for you crazy Canadians. You get out of here, Canada, with your free healthcare. Wait, come back. I can be a Canadian too, don't you know? I'd just really love to be a Canadian. I just want to drink Tim Hortons and get my hip replaced. Come on, somebody please. Is that so much to ask? But anyway, yeah, colored pencils, pencil crayons. I had a really fun time using them. Let me sent the line art over on this really, really smooth, a little bit reflective Bristol, and I was like, I could go one of two ways here. I could go alcohol markers or I could go pencil crayons. No, I'm saying it. I could use alcohol markers or I could use colored pencils. And I decided I'd rather not do the hair pulling, I'm going to die <laughs> using alcohol markers. 
<laughs> and I decided to use colored pencils because I felt safest with that. But don't worry, I take a very stupid risk later on in the project. I don't know what kind of Bristol board this is, but my colored pencils loved it. And I was using the Prismacolor Premier colored pencils. They were just gliding on, they were layering beautifully, they weren't looking too waxy. I mean, just. Uh, it was perfect. My words are just not coming to me for this video, so please excuse me for all the like random stops and slurs and stutters. I I don't know what's, I, my brain has the dumb, I'm sorry. Once I was finished coloring in the line art, it was time to add a little bit of a background and I was like, I know what I'm gonna bust out for this. Arteza had sent me some products that I'm still in the process of trying out, so expect a review in the very near future. But the metallic gouache set was one of them, and I was just dying to mess around with them, and I thought, what better picture to do this with than Alien Mama? <gasps> I'm gonna name her Alien Mama. Oh, how cute. But I realized because of all the little shards in this piece, I needed to block off all these little spaces before I added in the background, which I wanted to sponge onto the page, but I didn't have any art sponges. So I legit went upstairs and was like, hmm, kitchen sponge, go. But anyway, yeah, I wanted to sponge on the background, but how was I going to block out these sections of color? I couldn't use masking fluid because it would pull up the wax. You never want to use masking fluid after you've laid pigment down. I just feel like it never, ever works out. It always pulls the pigment back up. So I started to think a little bit, and then I realized I had some artist tape, but I had completely forgotten until I was halfway through this catastrophe that this artist tape has failed me before. I taped the whole of the outlines and everything and then I went in with an X-Acto knife and attempted to remove all the excess tape and boy did I get a migraine. That part was stressful in itself because the tape wanted to keep pulling up and I had to re-tape and reshape, and it was just, it was bad news bears. So then once I was done with that, I had tons of fun sponging on the metallic colors and now that I look back at it, because colored pencil is always going to be a little bit reflective because of the wax, the metallic quality is kind of lost because it kind of just gets drowned out in the reflectiveness of the colored pencil and I was just like, eh, but it still looks pretty good, so I'm not too worried about that. What I was really worried about was the tape pulling back up. At first, eh, no big deal, not really a problem. I was able to get a few of the smaller triangles down, but then I realized in some places I pushed hard with the X-Acto knife, so it cut a little bit into the paper. So when I went to pull up the tape, it wanted to pull up some of that separated paper too. It didn't happen too often, but when it did, I just started sweating bullets. I swear to God, I could hear that single note violin playing in the background, taunting me. My hands were shaking. The whole room turned into a cartoon. But I was able to persevere through those parts. The biggest problem was that big chunk of masking tape in the middle. Now I thought the wax would act kind of like a slip to kind of help the artist tape be removed from the paper. Not only that, but it's called artist tape for a reason. It's not really supposed to be sticky. But it was sticky. It was sticky. And I was having such a hard time removing it. I had to push down with all my force on my left hand on the paper in order to pull up with my right hand on that masking tape in order to go slow so that I didn't just rip it off and tear any chunks of paper that may not have been down with the flow. But with a little elbow grease and a lot of patience, I was able to get the masking tape off. I went in with the gouache and patched up any areas that uh, the masking tape had overlined. And I was left with this very pretty, unique piece created by both Lemia Crescent and myself. I'm really excited to see what Lemia does with my line art. Um, I really left the background empty so she can kind of play and kind of throw old mermaid mint anywhere she wants. She could literally put her in a, in a dumpster that is on fire and it would be interesting. Mint the mermaid's adventure in the great Pacific garbage patch that is also on fire. I'd buy that series in a heartbeat. I love me some garbage jokes. Anyway guys, I will link her part of the collab down below as well as in the information bar in the upper right hand corner. I wanna give a great big thank you to Lemia Crescent for doing this with me and I wanna let you know that I'm so happy to call you my art friend. If you guys don't already know who my collab partner is, her name is Lemia Crescent here 
on YouTube, and she paints wonderful anime-inspired art. She's got so many very unique and vivid characters, and you can find a lot of bright pastel colors in her work. So if that sounds like something that's up your alley, if you're down with the Lisa Frank flow, then please go over to her channel and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to stay out of trouble. See you guys later. This video was brought to you by viewers like you. If you'd like to support the channel, please go to www.patreon.com slash emilyartful. Hey guys, a quick little note here. I'm having lots of fun making uh, different kinds of content, um, but I'm still trying to kind of stick to what you guys really like, like the sketchbook story times and just kind of the rambling. And I'm kind of surprised a lot of you like the poetry with the art. Um, so please let me know down below in the comments what you guys would like to see from me because I'd really, really like to know. And please tell me why you'd like to see this stuff from me. I appreciate your ongoing support so, so much. I just think you all are such wonderful, strong people who've overcome so many obstacles. And I think it's very interesting that we all have kind of, you know, accumulated to this little section of the internet, this little niche. And um, I'm just very, very grateful for that. And I want to make sure I'm giving you what you want and what you like. Um, because as much as I do make this content for myself, it makes me feel good to know that I'm making something that's making somebody else feel good or making somebody else's day. Like, I see you, notification squad. I see you. So anyway, let me know down below what you guys would like to see. And again, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I really hope you like this collab.